<laughs> and welcome to Bamboo Beach. Cup and go. <laughs> what a little surprise. <laughs> As you enter Bamboo Beach. I did not know this beach was here until literally two minutes ago. I did not. Good day ladies. You good? <laughs> yeah, women on the beach. Western looking women on the beach. I am still in Patti, yeah? Yes, I am. Surprisingly so. Clean, soft sand. And the sea, look at that. There's hardly any debris washed up from the night time. Man. <laughs> then you can stay in condos pretty close to the beach. There is Patia City, right over there. There is, I don't know what that is over there. No, I do not know what that land is called. No, don't know everything. But the day looks pretty good. But unfortunately, the wind is not coming in from that way. It's kind of coming from this way. <laughs> and mm, it could break out to be a really hot day, or it could pee down. One or other, one or other, one or the other. Oh, man, right. <laughs> there is a pretty good looking sea. There is a nice little rocky pinnacle right here. But there also appears to be a oh, security guard in that box. Maybe, maybe not, yes. It's what he kept. You good? Good. He looks really grumpy. But... Oh, man. I was just going to walk straight in. I was. I thought I'd go up to the security. <laughs> As that looks like an okay place to stay, right? Right on the beach. I can see all the infinity pools. There. Security has got his hand on his radio, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I'll be going in there, no. Man, but it looks really cool. Looks really cool. There's private property, and that is all written in Rushkin. So I reckon Rushka has moved in. They've got to live somewhere. It's probably been built purposely for the Ruskies. <laughs> Still is a wicked little spot whether you're staying here or not. And there's mill. I think you've got rooftop bars up on these condos or hotels or places to stay. Wow. Wow, it looks good. It's really good. And so does the city of Pattaya. Oh, that is the Pattaya city there. Oh, man, so I am right at the other end of the beach. Never been here before. Have not. No. Now there is a little bit of debris here on the beach, but it is just washed up. Now, <laughs> debris. You can probably come beach combing here. I don't know why it's all washed in this little section there. The debris. A little rock pole. You may even be able to go snorkeling. Snorkeling off the coast. Hey. Yeah? I have just noticed the extreme port. It looks like a port. Man, this is cool. This is a really good place to come and have a walk or spend the day. Your private property here. Oh man, who wouldn't want a place right there to live? That is awesome. And there's more bungalows through there. What a wicked spot to have Pattaya. Pattaya, posh. 
I said, I'll have a go and have a word with a fisherman. See if they're caught any fish. Oh, a bit wilted today. <laughs> I had a oh, drinking session. Uptown himself, Barry Uptown. <laughs> Upton. I know. That was really good. We had a really good day. Uh, and you new guys know I don't get drunk, by the way. I can drink, but I don't get drunk. I don't. But I do have a problem speaking, slurring my words, sort of thing. And I do go a bit wobbly on my feet. Other than that, alcohol, I don't, I don't get affected. Now here is what I came to vlog about. That place there. That is why I am in this neck of woods. But as I ventured past the sanctionary of truth, the temple of truth, that place there, wooden Thai temple. Oh mate, can you hear him? Mr. Angle Grinder man is having a grind. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm really glad I pulled the bag out of the horse because I did not know I would see that from here. I haven't got my drone with me, but I have got my BFC. So we get some nice stills from that perhaps. The shadows are in the wrong place. I wish the sun was over there, but if only I could move the sun. Pretty, pretty choppy. Probably a bit of fisherman's waste. I'll say it now before I get a bit closer. Swaddy cap, it's good for fish. You're good. You catch bass, sea bream. No, snapper. No, what you catch? Okay, <laughs> don't understand it. Look. Oh, man, but look, you can. Oh man, they are. You got a mask that is that is an oxygen supply there. I'm sure that's what the Thai guys use if someone's going diving. I would, I'd just bung it in my mush. And that's your breathing tubes. You can go do a bit of spear fishing in this oh man, nice little harbour. You park your yacht right there. Oh, you could. That does look awesome. That does. So that's what I came to make a vlog about. Not this. I kind of unexpected to find this to a point. Oh, could probably stay in their motels pretty cheap. Let's see if these guys have caught any fisk. Be watching his rod tip, don't need to be going like that. Once that starts banging, it's got a little slur, that's just in the tide, that's the tidal water, but you want that, he you know he's got a fish on. And I've got to stay here, because he's got to cast that lead, <laughs> and I don't want to lose me out. No, he's fishing with squid. He's got a nice squid bait, so he's literally, well, he's pumped the day out there about 200 yards. That flew out. There's a good team of fishermen. On the pair. What do you care? Catch many fish? No? Oh, okay. There's a great big sandbar there. You can see it's probably good for snorkeling. I think he's just cast uh, beyond it or, or the side of it. And no steps that you can go around. This guy's got one, two, three, four, five, six rods. They don't want to speak. All the best guys, cheers. Don't want to speak to the fillet. Ah. Oh. But look at the chop on the sea coming in. A little bit more, let's get heavier and heavier. You'll got a good place to sunbathe and you'll get shower as well from the sea. those buildings. Now I'm literally going to walk up here and then walk down there, get a couple of stills, this is the temple, and then I'll probably walk back, around that way and go and have breakfast. Still haven't eaten yet, it's about midday. I am starting to eat later and later in the day, unfortunately. I'm going to bed later, unfortunately, but I am getting a good night's sleep, fortunately. 
Oh man. Ups, the constant up and down of the YouTube traveler. The body cloak and all that, the functions and the sleep. And also the lack of CBD in tight weed. So it's clear here, look, it's pretty rocky. Could do with like no rain for two days. Be a good place to come and do a bit of snorkeling. You will pick up some crustaceans along the way down there. Maybe some octopi or some squid or possibly some fish. All right. This is cool. Can you hear him? I can hear him. I am drawn towards him. know where we are in but we're in heavy feet onto concrete <laughs> just in case something rears its ugly head all right so he's got a spray gun someone's doing a bit of cleaning cleaning here is it open is it closed are they condos? Apartments? Cool place to live. Rent. Or just have the odd night. BH2. They look pretty cool. I love it, I I love a little unexpected bit of espionage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Wicked place. And that right over right in front of me is a massive shipping port. Now you can't really see it properly from here. Massive, massive container ships coming in and going out. I reckon Patia is on the Singapore route, I bet. Whoa. Have a carbon footprint. No, just cover your footsteps up. Don't leave a paper trail. Don't leave a trail. And if you do anything you shouldn't, certainly don't put it on YouTube channel. Don't do that. And here's look, water is getting clearer, so it gets nice and shallow. Lovely little beach here. Wicked. Oh, you can get away from all the beach sellers from Pike here. All the boats going up and down. Man. Well, it's pretty cool to my right as well. It's like a real cool place to come and spend a day. Jang, man, it's too early for Jang. Whoa! Wow. Oh, look. Wicked little spot. The golden tul tulip. Get a drink in the hand. How oh, cool. What a lovely little beach. It's like a little beach and sea that resembles Ko Chang in such a manner. <laughs> yes, I will reassure that we are still in Patio. Oh, we yeah. are. Another little fisherman. Got out on his fishing boat, doing a bit of trawling. It's wicked. Young single lady checking me out. Young single man, needing a morning drink. And then the amount of shells. Right there. Look at them. That is awesome. 
That is awesome. Yeah, piles, piles of shells. All just washed up. Beautiful, man. And the water here is even clearer. As we get nearer and closer to the Temple of Truth. Look how good it is. You know what? It's so good. I, I am in. I'm in the drink. I left me little flippers there. Oh, that'll be good. What a beautiful little spot. Ah, oh, it feels good. Sea is, it's, it's nice. I'm still miffed, I'm in pain. Booked three more days this morning, by the way, and I may book a couple more. Now here's a place where it looks like a bit of me. There it does. That is a proper abandoned site. With steps going up the back. Oh man, what a place. You could do with knocking that down, building a wicked little spot there, right in the shade and everything. Really cool. Really cool. Spiky rocks. You all right there, ladies? You all right? Hi. Hi. You English? American? No. 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 Where from? Russia. Russia. Yeah. Oh, it's good. You live here? No, no. Why not? I don't know. Maybe they're so hot. You should have a word with your parents, darling. What? You should have a word with your parents. So you can live here? Yeah, yeah it's true yeah. I can, but uh, I think uh, very hot. Very hot? Yeah. It's good. <laughs> you get used to it. Yeah. Awesome. Young ladies, you have a lovely day. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you. Oh, man. Lovely ladies. Okay, right, I am just going to go to the end of here that would be wicked with the drone maybe some other time oh, oh, it is awesome wicked place and you could probably god oh, man <laughs> the rock is granite it is just pure granite a little bit of sand in it but it is granite, it is rock rock hard and it's really sharp on your feet but you can walk literally all the way along on this beach probably wicked place to stay with those lovely looking roof bars up the top there to the sanctuary of truth oh man this is bamboo beach there you go ah I had no breakfast yet. Oh, I have got to walk back. There is a bar, and we do need a happy ending. And chill. Hope you like Bamboo Beach as much as what I did. I really did. I really enjoyed that. And then after I made my little Bamboo Beach vlog, I actually made uh, a walking vlog for my walk walk with me worldwide site that was really good because uh i managed to chat those two russian well actually those two russian girls chatted me up the young provados that they are but they would i think they liked a bit of me so i'm actually i've actually left that place i've came back to town and i've been out and made another vlog and now i have come back to the sportsman right next to the lek hotel where i live I actually came here yesterday to meet Barry and we sat over that table from about half twelve to gone nine o'clock. Just chatting and drinking and chilling. That was really good. And I also got to meet the drummer, the drummer from the Wombles. It was awesome. Oh God, I'm sorry for her, I forgot your name. I'm terrible with names. 
but oh man, a really delightful character as well. And a proper character, it was really good. We had a real good bit of banter. And so I come back to the sportsman because I'm a bit peckish. And I was impressed with the food here as well. Proper English menu. And I know a lot of you are saying, oh, well, you're in Thailand. I say, yeah, 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 I am. But when you've been an intrepid traveler, traveling around Asia for maybe a year and a half or so, you do miss your English grub, proper English food. Because, you know, we, we need a bit of, we need a bit of something in us, more than a little bit of rice and that, you know. So uh, that's why I come out and I really do like my English grub and I need it to keep me energy up. But today is Thursday and on offer on Thursday is Tiger at just 99 baht a pint. And I don't often drink Tiger or Chang from the bottles, but I do when it's on draft because it's got a much smoother taste. It does. So here you go. Cheers. Mm. And I will be making a food vlog here because the food is really good and people come from all around to come to the sportsman for the quality. It's just like a proper English pub and I will make a vlog about it before I leave and the food. There's a little bit busy in there right now and there's a bit of music on so it will be another time. But I'm now going to finish, well I'm not going to finish it, I'm going to finish this vlog and I'm going to go and sit in there and eat my fish and chips. Yes, I am. And then I'm going back to the hotel because my battery ran out on my BFC at the Sanctuary of Truth. And I want to go back and get some photographs. So that's literally what I've done. I've come back here, battery's on charge in the hotel. I've sussed out that one plug socket in the bathroom does not go off when you take the key out. So cam SLR camera battery is on the charge as I am also. So I'm gonna drink that, eat me fish and chips, and then go back to the Sanctuary of Truth to get some photographs. Whew. And breathe. So guys, all the best. Appreciate your watch until the end. And until next time, au revoir.